Okay, so here I have my medication. I'm going to be doing an intramuscular injection, so I have to prepare the medication. So what I did first is I made sure that I had um, taken the right medication out of Pyxis, and um, so I'm just going to look at it, my vial, make sure I have the right medication and um, the right concentration according to the order. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up my medication dose first before I go ahead and do my three checks um, because otherwise you don't have the accurate dose, you just have a vial. So I'm going to go ahead and show how we draw up the dose and then that's when we would proceed to do our medication checks. Okay? All right. So first I, you wash your hands. Um, it's not necessary to wear gloves but if you so want to, you can. Make sure you have a clean um, space to, um, to do your medication preparation. So first I have to pick out the right um, syringe. So as you can see here, we have a 3 ml syringe. And if you can find on here, you know, it tells you right there that it's a 3 ml. It doesn't have a needle on it, which is fine because we want to make sure we have the right needle for doing an IM injection. This injection is going to go in the deltoid. So the length of my needle should be approximately um, a half an inch to, um, to one inch depending on the person, if they're thin or if they are um, very, you know, have a lot of muscle or fat. Um, we could even go with a 5 eighths if we, if we needed to go a little above a half an inch. All right, so this is my syringe and you wanna make sure that you open it and keep it sterile. So basically all you have to do is just open it. Um, don't really touch anything there yet. You can touch the the plunger but you don't want to touch anything else and then first I'm going to use a blunt needle which means there's not really a sharps on the end of this needle it's going to help me withdraw the medication from the vial and um, then I'm going to transfer it to the actual needle I'm going to use on the patient that prevents the the needle from dulling the one that I'm going to inject the patient with so what we can do then is open this one up making sure you're keeping the opening of the blunt needle sterile and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab your 3 ml syringe which is appropriate because I'm going to be giving 2 mls. This one has a cap on it so you can remove the cap and just get rid of it and then you can go ahead and put on your screw on your blunt filler needle. Okay so then next I'm going to go ahead and prepare my dose of medication. So again, I'm just gonna double check, make sure I have the right medication and I'm giving the patient the right amount. So I'm gonna give this patient um, four milligrams and that is in a concentration of two mLs. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. And uh, best practice, you want to um, vigorously scrub the top of the, the vial. Once that is completed, you're gonna go ahead and let that dry. And then, now that I know that I'm giving um, two mLs of the medication, I'm going to go ahead and draw up my air, because I'm gonna put air in first. So you're gonna draw up the two mLs of air, which is equal to the amount of volume I'm gonna give the patient. And when you read it, you wanna read the top black line. So we're at two mLs, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and that's dry so I can draw up my medication first and you're just going to be putting it right in the rubber plunger here or stopper. Okay and then you're going to go ahead and inject the air and then you're going to go ahead and flip it and what I want you to get a close-up of is you want that filler needle to be right within the fluid. You don't want it up here because you're just going to get air. So make sure you're bringing it down and this air that you put in there creates a negative pressure so a lot of times it'll just kind of fill on its own but make sure as it's filling you bring that needle down farther so that you keep it in the fluid so that you're getting the the right amount. Okay and there there is some air bubbles in here so we'll try to get those out here in a second. All right, so once we do that, we have our, again, this is not a sharps, so but it's still something you don't want to come in contact with your skin. All right, so now I have my fluid in there, but I want to make sure I have the two mLs 
which I am right at that 2 ml mark. All right, so then I'm gonna just, even though this is blunt, you wanna safely um, put the cap on this and you're going to remove that cap. And now you're gonna use the needle that you want to administer the medicine with. So this is a 25 gauge, 5 eighths, which is appropriate. Um, this medication is thin, it's, um, it's aqueous, so it's not thick, it's not um, syrupy. So a 25 gauge is, is adequate for that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this, if I can. There we go. Again, making sure you keep that sterile where you're gonna be attaching the syringe. You twist that on and you have it ready to go for when you go into the patient's room. Make sure you, um, when you're doing your checks now, you have the dose drawn up and you need the vial with you as well while you start your three checks so that we know what medication we have. And also you would want to label your syringe with the medication, dose, patient, um, the amount of fluid, and your initials, um, just because that's best practice to label it. All right, so now when I'm ready to go into the patient's room, I will proceed to do that after I do my first two checks. Can... Hello. Hello. Hi, Sylvia. My name is Mary. I am a student nurse from CVTC Technical College, and I'm here to administer your Zofran. I understand that you're feeling a little nauseated. Yes. Okay, yeah, that can be kind of a rough feeling, right? Okay, so would you like me to call you Sylvia or do you prefer another name? Sylvia is good. Okay, may I check your name band? All right, full name and date of birth, please. Uh, Sylvia Vasquez, 130-1966. Excellent. Do you have any allergies to any medications that I should be aware of? No. Okay, very good. All right, so I have your medication ready here, but I'm just gonna do one more check on the um, computer and we'll do our last medication check to make sure I have the right medication and scan it so you can talk over that. And when I'm done doing that, then I'm ready to um, go ahead. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give you your medication now and we're gonna be giving it in the um, your left deltoid there, okay? So when we do that, we have to find the right site. So you're gonna find the acromion process, which is right here. It's kind of that hard um, bone that's right on top of the uh, humerus here. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take about three finger, three to four finger widths below that. So approximately right there is where I'm going to be given the medication. If you have large fingers, you might only need two. If you have very small fingers, you might even need up to four but um, you know, you're approximately that far from the acromion process, okay? And if you can picture the deltoid as being kind of an upside down triangle, we wanna get kind of right in the, in the head of that deltoid muscle, okay? Very good. All right, so I'm just gonna wash my hands again before I put my gloves on. Um, I do recommend gloves because sometimes the patient might bleed afterwards. Um, it's good to have a gauze with you um, or an alcohol pad afterwards in case they do bleed and a band-aid as well. Which I don't have. I really should have got that. All right. Okay, so we can go ahead and we're just going to clean the area off. So you can put that up there again. Or I could show them how to, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So we know that it's going to be right approximately here. So you're going to go in a circular motion. Okay, you're going to do about 10 to 15 seconds of that. You want to let that dry. All right. So we can go ahead and put that on there. And I'll just kind of pretend again that I'm doing this. Okay. So now you have your, your needle and you're ready to inject the medication. We would be doing Z-Track, um, which you, you would have to pull the skin away from the site as you're giving it. So um, but I'm gonna take the top off so you can see you have your needle and you know you have your safety here that we're gonna engage when we're done. Make sure you note know where the bevel is and you're gonna hold it like a dart and then you're gonna go ahead and um, inject as instructed. We are not going to aspirate for blood um, because that's not best practice. All right, so if I were to give it Z-Track, you'd wanna pull the skin back. So if you wanna get a zoom in on this, pull the skin back with one hand, okay? Or if you're doing this, you wanna pull it back, hold it there, 
okay? And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to shoot in like a dart. You're going to feel a little poke, okay? So you're going to do that and you're going to keep holding the skin away and then you're going to go ahead and inject nice and steady, not real slow, but at a steady rate. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to um, keep holding for hold for a second just to make sure all the medication gets in. And then you're going to, I can't remember, pause for a second. I think you pulled <laughs> Just out. pause, yep. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna pull out and let our skin go back over the injection site to keep the medication. And I did engage my safety, which you wanna do right away. And any sharps that you might have, you wanna put in the sharps container. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my gloves wash my hands and I'm going to go ahead and check the injection site. It looks good. I don't see any swelling or bruising. We would have also assessed the injection site prior to giving the medication as well to make sure that it's appropriate, appropriate place to give it. All right. So once I'm done, I wash my hands. Um, is everything okay? Does it feel mm -hmm. okay? Great. So I'm going to reassess to see if that nausea gets any better. I'll be back in about, um, 15 minutes or so to check on that. If before that time you need anything or you feel worse, just let me know. Okay, okay. you can ring the bell. Thanks. Thank you. All right.